before we start today's video, I just wanted to show off, uh, you know, I've been reorganizing the room a little bit and uh, pretty much displaying a bunch of my uh, other stuff as well since I've acquired some new shelving, which has been very handy. I'm still working on the, the cliff jumper shelf, not sure how that's going to go, but uh, yeah, I kind of have things uh, piled up at the moment. And uh, if you didn't see my Rhea Plush video, here's my new wallet, so that's fun. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, here's the Lego shelf that's finally been updated, so now I can display my cars and other miscellaneous creations and whatnot, and then there's just a bunch of RC cars on the floor, which I got back into RC, so if you guys want to see videos on that kind of stuff, uh, feel free to hit me up, because, uh, you know, um, I love me some remote-controlled vehicles, as well as real cars and other stuff, but, uh, yeah, here's another good look at the Lego shelf, and, uh, yeah, alright, to the review. And remember, respect is everything. Okay guys, we are back and today we are going to look at Prowl, Smokescreen, and Blue Streak. And the reason I chose these three, oh, sorry about that, I hit my table. The reason I chose these three is because I wanted to come back to some of my car bots that I haven't reviewed yet and I really like how these guys turned out so I figured I'd show them off. Uh, before we start today's review, I wanted to show off, uh, I normally don't show these off, but this is a model car I put together uh, recently. I didn't paint it, in fact, um, I didn't even start this build. I found it in a Goodwill, and uh, somebody, I guess, started the build, but they never finished it, so I went ahead and finished it for them. Um, so, if you recognize this Mustang, I mean, here it is, I finished it for you, and, uh, you know, I hope you appreciate my efforts. Um... Yeah, this is just a 66 Mustang GT350 kit, but I painted it like a like a street build, so, yeah. At least, well, it was already painted, it's just I just added the black hood and, you know, blacked out the taillights from when the police show up to stop your racing and whatnot, and, you know, I put it all together, and it's, it's nice. I like I like this kit. I might grab another one at some point and make it into some other kind of car. But uh, anyway, that's irrelevant. Um... So yeah, these guys play a major role in my story because they're always, uh, you know, they're kind of the patrol squad of uh, the Autobots, you know, in addition to a few other car bots. But, uh, you know, they, they all kind of take different sectors um, in the city that they protect, um, especially Prowl and Blue Streak. They're very close in my story because, uh, you know, I, I always saw Blue Streak as kind of Prowl's right-hand man, so, you know, it only makes sense that, you know, he's kind of like, you know, He's kind of his wingman in the sense, and then Smokescreen's kind of the young, arrogant one. But, um, yeah, let's get the turntable and take a closer look at these guys. We're going to start by looking at Smokescreen, since he's kind of my favorite cosmetically. Um, I really like his car mode. I really like how it turned out. And I really love the paint job. Very um, patriotic, I guess, for a Japanese car. But, hey, you know, at the end of the day, we're all human, and I believe we should all come together. And, uh, you know is what it is and i'm sure there's probably another reason why that paint job is it just happens to be in those colors but eh you know unity is a nice thought but yeah <laughs> all right on to the next one all right i'm not gonna lie i actually really like blue streaks uh color pattern here i added the red stripe just because uh i thought it looked cool before you ask about these autobot stickers um they came from a creo set the actual lego pieces are lego just the stickers are not from a Lego set or anything in particular. They came from a Creo set, so that's why they um, are on there. But uh, they look good, so you know, he's definitely representing, <laughs> which is always cool. So there's uh, there's Blue Streak in his very red and gray black car mode. I still don't get the point of this name, but whatever. You know, I think about it, shouldn't have even called Smokescreen and Smokescreen Blue. Uh, it doesn't matter. And now for the man himself, the kind of leader of this trio, Prowl. So yeah, um, he is his police car mode, based on you know that original uh, Datsun 240Z car. Um, they're all the same car, it's just um, different cosmetics, obviously, because, uh, you know, Lego. I mean, it's, it's very difficult to recreate the same thing numerous times, but uh, it is what it is. And... 
I hope it's focusing, but yeah, I really like uh, I really like his rims. They're very um, very sporty for such a utilitarian vehicle. All right, let's get to transformation. Now we're gonna start with um, uh, we'll start with my favorite. Let's start with Smokescreen. I kind of like him because of his colors and just uh, his general car mode and whatnot. Um, so. Let's go ahead and fold this up. Now this, uh, I'm really happy how that came out. Uh, I'll show that off in a sec, but first pull the roof out like that and straighten it out. Pull his arms out. Very standard for my car bots, you know, arms become the doors and whatnot and all this. Now because the, uh, the Dotson uh, brothers had wings, what you want to do is you want to split them, angle them up, and then pull them out like this. So that they still have their wings, even though their doors aren't the actual um, wings themselves. Now, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out, but we'll take a better look at it in robot mode. Next, you're going to want to extend this, rotate the waist, split the legs, because there's a little tab in there that holds them together. Um, you probably can't see it. There's that tab, a uh, little blue tab right there. And there's smoke screen. So next, we're going to do, uh, let's do, uh, what's his face, uh, Blue Streak, sorry, my memory was getting a little uh, faded, so yeah, um, pull this canopy up, extend his waist, to, oh, ooh, I didn't mean to pull that hard, okay, no matter, uh, uh, pull the hood up, rotate it. Um, yeah, that's that's not looking good. Okay, next, uh, rotate this and straighten his legs. Here, let's do that instead. Split the legs, rotate his. Oh wait, no, these ones don't rotate because I, I I used a different piece for this. Um, but yeah, uh, for his wings, fold the windshield up. And just spread them out and then angle them upward as accordingly. He is giving me a lot of trouble right now. Here, come on, dude. Pull yourself together. I mean, literally, because you're falling apart on camera. Um, or were these upside I don't know. We'll leave them like that for now. But yeah, there's, uh, there's good old Blue Streak, who, character-wise, is probably my favorite because he's very supportive of Prowl in my story. And he's kind of like his wingman. Okay, finally, let's look at Prowl. Um, let's pick him up. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this middle section down because uh, for some reason, um, it's this section right here where the hood and the rear thing come up is where a lot of my car bots tend to have their stability issues for some reason. As long as the design is faulty, I tested it numerous times. It's just uh, me not being careful enough, I guess, is what it comes down to. Um, he's also the only one with blue windows, but that's mostly to contrast from all the, the black and white. Um, but yeah, again, pretty standard. Um, so really, Blue Streak is the only one that's a little more simplified because his arms don't have to rotate. They just kind of extend out. Um, but that's mostly because, again, I build these things out of convenience. And, uh, you know, I never build them all. I mean... Here's the thing, when I built uh, these three, I built them all at the same time, and I usually built them with whatever I had available at, the, at, the, at hand, so, it is what it is. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's our little trio, and stuff. If I can get proud to stand, Jesus, man, come on, hold yourself together. But yes, there they all are in robot mode, and yes, his eyes look really dead. That's part of why I'm trying to not do the clear eyes anymore. They are blue, they're just a very dark blue. But uh, I couldn't find any uh, colored pieces to use for his eyes, so... Regardless, I had to give him something. Or maybe I'll swap his eyes out. Okay, update. I ended up swapping their eyes out, so... It is what it is. Uh, I did leave uh, What's-His-Face's eyes alone because uh, he's, he's, he's fine the way he is. But uh, let's take a look at their weapons since I actually bothered to grab some out of my box. Um... So first, here's uh, here's Blue Streak's gun, which uh, well, it's not really Blue Streak's gun. It's just one I happen to grab out of my box of weapons, and 
you know, you can hold it and all that. And it's cool. So you can blast Decepticons into oblivion and, you know, blow them apart. Here's Smokescreen's kind of... I want to say it's... I want to pretend it's like a sawed-off shotgun of some kind. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And then finally, here's Prowl's gun, who is very inspired by the Siege one. And he can hold it just like this. But yeah, here they all are together. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, all right. You all have a good one. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!